Good afternoon everybody and welcome to the video. In this video, it's essentially I'm going to show you how to configure Hadoop, PySpark and Apache Hoodie on a Windows 10. So basically we're going to create our first Hoodie table on Windows 10 machine on your laptop, right? We're going to insert, update, delete and perform some operation. So this video is about how to basically configure your Windows 10 laptop. A lot of people when they are beginner, they usually really have a hard time understanding which version to use, where to download, what settings to do. This video will serve as a guide to those beginner people. So let's get started on installing um, basically all these stuff on the computer. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to have Spark, um, also called as you know Apache Spark. Uh, you can also install that using PySpark, but I'm gonna show you um, uh, the best way to do that, okay? So uh, you can come to the download section and here we are going to select 3.3.1 and here you will select pre-built for Apache Hadoop 2.7. This is very, very important. And then you can click on the download spark and this is the URL. When you click a zip file or a TGZ uh, file will be downloaded on your computer. Now, once that is done, uh, you also need a Hadoop 2.7 and again, I have uh, a repository forked here. So now I'll give you the direct links again in the code. Uh, if you observe, I have the direct links to download. So the first step is basically we need to download um, Spark. Uh, uh, as you can see over here. So I'm going to directly put the link and here you can see um, Spark 3.3.1 has been downloaded on my computer locally. Uh, then we are going to need um, to install uh, a WinUtils for Hadoop 2.7. I have a direct link which makes things easy for everybody. So go to the link. This should open up. This should basically open up uh, on a get up on my repository. This is a fork repository, right? And then click on the download button. Once that is done, you will see a file called WinUtils uh, in your computer. Okay. Now the first step that you need to do is take this uh, GZ file that is a spark GZ file. Okay. Now I'll show you a sample process here. Create a temp folder. Okay. Then what you need to do is paste your uh, downloaded file over here. Right click 7-zip and click on extract files. And then you want to click on OK. This should essentially create a uh, tar file here for you as you can see. right? So under this, I have a tar file. Now again, I'm going to do 7-zip and extract here. Now this should create a folder. Now what you want to do is copy everything on this. So right click copy, go to Windows, go to uh, user, go to your username. My username is s.sha and then here right click, click on new and click on folder and name this folder as Spark. The S is capital and then dump your files over here. As you can see, I've already done that. Right. So these are all the extracted files. Now we're going to do the similar process for the WinUtil file that we have downloaded right? for the Hadoop. So this is the WinUtil file, right? So now go to C drive, go to user, go to your username and then here create a folder called Hadoop. I already have it. So right click new and uh, folder and then type the name as Hadoop. Over here, you will create a folder, right click new folder, create a folder called bin. Inside that you should have two files that is winutils.exe and uh, again, yeah, just a winutils.exe. Again, this is the file. I've already copy pasted it here. Once that is done, the next step is to configure the environment. So again, I'm gonna open up my environment variable, click on environment variables over here. So you need to add two variables that is Hadoop underscore home as you can see. So I'm gonna click on edit and I'll show you here. So now put the path over here. So basically this will be the Hadoop folder that we just created. As you can see, C user, s.sha and then Hadoop. Similarly, you need one more. Um, so you can click on new, right? And that's where you will add a variable name and a value. So over here in the Spark home, basically as you can see, I'm gonna edit that. So the, the folder that we created, uh, give the part to that folder. So again, uh, my Spark folder was over here. So basically you have to give the outer directory. Okay. So as you can see, I have done that. After doing that, the next step is you click on the path, click on edit. And then here you need to add two variable, uh, modulo spark underscore home modulo hyphen or sorry, uh, slash bin modulo Hadoop 
underscore home modulo slash bin. So basically, this is again now pointing to the bin directory. So again, if you were not able to see that, I have uh, that in the Python file here. So again, we essentially added these two uh, path, right? And then we configure these two variables, okay? So now we have done that, right? After doing that, what you can do is on a command prop, now you can say pip3 install PySpark. I've already installed it, so I'm not gonna install it, right? Now, once you have installed PySpark correctly, now this is the Python code to essentially create um, your hoodie tables on your computer locally. So I'll show you. I'll show you all the step by step. So I'll go to C, uh, temp, and here is my Spark warehouse, which I already have. So I'm going to delete that and I'm, we're going to do this demo with you. Okay. So I'll wa walk you over the code part. Over here, basically, we are defining certain imports. We are defining PySpark, session, and context. Over here, we are essentially installing uh, a package called org Apache hoodie spark. Uh, we are using hoodie version 0.12.1. And on, after that, give us space and say spark shell. So this will essentially install the package. Here on line 55 to line 61, we are defining the configuration. After that, we have a data generator class that generates some fake data. On line 90, we are essentially creating a spark data frame. As you can see, I'm doing dot show. Here I'm creating a database called hoodie DB, a table name called hoodie table, and my record ID is an employee ID. This is essentially a primary key or a unique identifier. Precom key is basically um, uh, used for dedupe purposes. So basically in my, I have a column called TS. You can basically choose anything that you want, right? Now this is important for beginners and this is where I, I also stumbled. So the path part, right? One thing that I want to show you is in the Spark configuration. So you have to provide a directory, right? So here you can see, um, uh, I think I forgot a, uh, an S here. Let me make sure. Yeah. So here you have to say Spark SQL warehouse directory. So observe the path, how I'm giving it. So I am saying file colon three slashes. Okay. No two, three slashes. C drive inside that there is a folder called temp. Okay. So in the C drive, there's a folder called temp. And then I'm saying create a new, um, you know, folder there called spark warehouse. Okay. This is important. This is very, very important. Okay. And again, these are certain settings for the hoodie. The, okay. Now here we are creating a spark data frame and here I'm defining a copy on, right? You can also use a more model, right? That is merge on uh, read. Again, these are just some basic, very, very basic settings that I am defining. And here we are again inserting into the hoodie table. We are using the word overwrite. Then basically again, I'm generating a spark data frame and then I'm using append, which means now I'm appending into the data lake. And then at the end, we are gonna read uh, from the hoodie table as well. So if you did follow all the steps correctly, and if you run the, run the Python file, that is run.py and uh, let's wait. These are just certain warnings, so do not worry about that. Again, I don't have a folder here in my C drive temp, right? So I am expecting a folder called Spark Warehouse to be created. So if you basically have configured everything correctly, step by step, what I just showed you on the video, this should work for you. So here you can see the first thing that we are doing. This is the Spark data frame that we generated two employees, right? And then here we are overwriting into the, you know, um, again, data like this is now um, basically I, we can call it data like, but now these files are on prem, which means they are on your server. You are managing the server, right? So now I'm going to insert that in the hoodie table, right? And then I'm going to read from the hoodie table. So this might take a couple of seconds. Again, I have done some videos with glue as well. So in case if you are wondering, so the overhead is complete. Now you can see I was able to read from the hoodie table, right? So if I go to uh, this directory, I have a folder called spark warehouse. Here you can see here is the all hoodie metadata, right? And then basically your data files or parquet files. And basically now I'm appending into the data lake and again, I'm reading um, from the data lake again. So as you can see, what I wanted to really show you is basically now I'm able to read, write, uh, update stuff from the data lake. Now, if you want to perform all complex operation, I have a separate video where I essentially, uh, here you can see this is the link over here. So here in this video, I did everything. For example, um, we we essentially created a hoodie table. 
we insert it into the hody table we read from the hody table but this is all using um again glue connector a hody marketplace connector right i have spark sql code as well yeah, okay so here we are appending into the data lake right so we are appending data right uh, then again we are reading it then we are updating stuff right we are performing uh, reading using uh, sql queries we are performing hard deletes um we did clustering and compaction here we did time travel queries we did incremental queries we did snapshot queries all of that is there so i'll leave this in the description so if you did follow the guide correctly and if you um, you know installed everything correctly the um, you should now be able to uh, essentially create your hoodie tables locally on your computer and start experimenting with uh, you know hoodie and play with it right so i hope this video will be useful for especially the beginners right who usually have a hard time because i saw several github um, you know uh, issues being created oh i cannot insert into hoodie uh, when working locally so that is probably you have a misconfiguration maybe in the spark version or the hoodie uh, basically package or basically the hadoop uh, package right so i'll leave all the direct download links in the description follow the steps and it should be pretty straightforward for anybody to get started with apache hoodie Thank you so much for watching. I'll make more and more videos with Apache Hoodie. Next couple of videos, we are going to essentially see how you can use Apache Hoodie uh, basically locally. So we're going to have a Kafka topic. We're going to publish messages into Kafka. And basically, we're going to you know insert that data from the Kafka topic into the Hoodie tables, but on the Windows machine. So yeah, that's basically the next video. Thank you so much. And I hope you have enjoyed. If you have any more questions, let me know in the comments. And if you run into issues or errors, Feel free to post them in the comment and if I get some free time, I'll definitely help you. With that being said, keep smiling, keep programming. Merry Christmas and see you guys in the next video.